it's Coyote Lovely again. Um, I was going to go ahead and do the organization real fast. I was looking up to see where we were in the sky. Kind of wish I could build a sundial just because that would be really cool. Uh, we don't have a lot of space, so we're going to kind of do what we can here to free up some room. Um, and then we're going to grab as much of the clay as we can. Because of all the stuff that I don't mind if it gets blown up, it's going to be this stuff. So, hardened clay, hardened clay, hardened clay, hardened clay, light gray, orange, dirt, 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 stone, stone, gravel, and clay. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep grabbing stuff out of here. And we're going to put the... Like I said, we're going to keep the important stuff back here because this is just... This stuff is too... Well, this specifically, way too important to lose. So let's do that. Uh, let's get the red. Um, the sand. Um, uh, dirt. Uh, I don't like those. that all the way over there. How about this instead? And I've got lots of stone now. Like I said, when it starts to go, it starts to go really, really fast. Like it's just one of those hard things to hold on to. Um, and then let's put the. Okay. Okay. Let's get the rest of that gravel out of here. I think I just organized the gravel. Okay. Let's do that All right. That's not bad. Whoever find a village will fix up their roads. That'll be what that is. Let's get all of this out of here. That and that. Bone. Gunpowder in the hoe. Okay. So this will be the stuff that comes out of the ground. These will be important tools. I try to always have some semblance of order to what I'm doing. Oh, we'll fish. Um, I'm going to put the iron tools away until we go back downstairs. There's no reason to get accidentally blown up with iron tools in your hand. Um, these are some of the most useful items in our repertoire from monsters. So we'll put those in here. And we'll put this in here for now. Um, put the weed away. Oh, ooh. Let's do that today. Let's grab that. Um, arrows, because I pulled those specifically. Wooden bowl. And let's keep the extra iron ore in here. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, that's right. We're going to go fishing, too. All right. So I believe we left some red sand in a box down here. So we're going to go ahead and grab that really fast. Just to keep with the, the look of the territory, we're going to go with the red sand instead of the white sand um, for what we're putting our sugar cane in. Apparently, I have a wish to just keep falling and breaking my ankles today. So, red sand. Um, and just because we've made those, those boxes upstairs, we're going to go ahead and pull this up so that these are free for the next time we come back down um, to dig stuff out. I'm trying to spread this out a little bit, that way the there's not like 30 videos of me, you know, singing hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to work we go, and mining out stone. Um, a lot of Disney references lately. Um, I've been watching a lot of Once Upon a Time, so that would be why the different Disney references. I tried Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, um, and I wasn't as impressed with the the story. I think, it, I think what, what I wanted more out of Once Upon a Time in Wonderland is for it to have been like to reference more of the characters in Once Upon a Time. Um, three, four, five, perfect. Um, and it really didn't, like, like I kind of wanted it to and it just didn't, so. Look at that. We've got some sugar cane going. Man, got a nice little pool here. Oh, that's right, let's go ahead and put that stuff away. Get some fishies today and um, that way we can burn up some food and 
I was thinking, um, in, in watching the past videos while I was getting myself back together, um, that we wanted to make maybe a trip to, um, back out to the, the area where we found the mushrooms, because there were some animals out there, and I'm thinking that maybe they might be the, oh, that's sand, um, I'm thinking that maybe they might be the, that might be the best place to find, um, I don't know, new stuff, you know what I mean, like a, you know, maybe we'll find a, a cow or something like that. Like, that would just be cool. So. Let's get like that, I think. We'll have room for more stairs. Okay. All right. Oops. There we go. Okay. I was thinking that, like, one of these days I wanted to head back out there. But I think I want to do that when um we have more... Uh, like I just want to, I want to have like actual adventuring gear and we're going to go on like a, a two or three day trek rather than a day trip so we can go try to find stuff and, you know, maybe make like, um, some animal pens out there so we can pen up some animals and then bring them back a little at a time. Um, bringing them back through this territory is going to be very difficult. So I want to think that through before, like trap them, feed them, breed them, and then think out how we're going to get them back here before I actually do it. Um, you know, the issue being that I need them to follow me a, a reasonably long distance, you know, in order to get them back here, so, um, you know, it's just something that I think is going to take more than one day, but we just need, we need some of the stuff that they've got, we, we need cows for sure, and I would be very happy with some chickens, um, cows for the leather, chickens for the feathers, um, you know, obviously we can breed pigs, so there's no reason not to have them, they're good food, a really good source of food. Um, and sheep just for the wool, but honestly, I mean, the only thing we need the wool for right now is, uh, um, putting up pictures on the walls and that kind of thing. And that's great, but I'm not sure that that is, that should be like on the high priority. I mean, honestly, and who needs pictures? I mean, look at that. Look at that. Who needs pictures out here, right? We've got the, the landscape, the Mesa landscape. My phone just buzzed. Let's see. Come on, fishy splish. We need to cook some fish. But yeah, so I was definitely thinking we, we needed to take a, a multi-day trek out somewhere um, and investigate the territory beyond the Mesa. Uh, but I wanted to do that with, you know, like a full regiment of torches and, um, you know, a good stack of food and a bunch of, you know, swords and stuff like that. So it'll be... We, we might get, get ourselves together tonight and, you know, at least have the... Um, you know, the spare treasure chest full of our adventuring gear. That way we can uh, go in another day and... Oh my gosh, I pulled string out of the water. <laughs> That'd be the first time I've ever pulled string out of the water. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder what else is just floating around in here waiting to be pulled out. So. As night falls on the horizon... Should go check on that dirt too. I keep meaning to to make um, um, posts to go on the side of the the bridge and maybe make the bridge prettier. Cause right now it's a, a functional utilitarian bridge, but I kind of want to brace it on both sides um, just to make it look nice and um, you know maybe we'll do a little of that tonight. Oh my gosh, we pulled leather out of the ground. That's hysterical. <laughs> I mean, not that we didn't need leather, but it's just funny that it got yanked out of some water instead of a cow first. We can at least make a book. <laughs> we can just get two more pieces of leather. We'll make a little a little library box. Oh, man. This is going to be the day of fishing for, like, junk. This is junk fishing. I have to wonder what a piece of leather is doing all the way up here, though. I mean, we haven't seen animals up here ever. Literally ever. So... It just seems like an odd an odd thing to pull out of the water. And I'm just kind of keeping an eye on on us to make sure that we don't get snuck up on. I mean, at least there's some light, so chances are we're going to be okay. Splish. Okay. But to be on the safe side, I don't want to I don't want to lose vigilance here. But at least the diamonds are in are in the box safely out of our hands and stored nicely away so that they can't be hurt hopefully they're like right here too maybe that we need to 
we need to actually build like a you know that's nice that's an idea build like an underground bunker just to make sure that they don't get blown up hmm that's not a bad plan actually let's get eight f oh you know what though we actually have two fish inside okay Let's build this underground bunker. I just think I would feel better. Yep, I got fish. Okay. I just think I would feel better. Oh, of course I have one over there now. Force of habit. Force of habit. Okay, let's get you in here. Um, and let's put the entryway here? Right by the bed? Maybe hidden by the bed. I kind of like that idea. Um, and let's make... We need ladders. Three... For now. For now. I think that'll do for now. Oh, of course! Oh, good. Whew. Okay. And then three... Let's make, let's actually make three more. We'll go ahead and bury it down there. Because we can attach the, okay, where's the wood? Where's the wood? Okay, and the trap door? Yeah. All right. Make a bunch of sticks. Make three more of these. Okay. So the trap door will be there. And then one. Yeah. Right after the video where I said never to do that is the video where I'm doing it. Of course. That never fails. At least I'm I'm pretty sure there's not lava around here, so. Let's just hollow this out a little bit. And then we'll light it up. And we're actually gonna bunker this in stone. Because it's a little stronger than clay, and we're going to make sure that it's only too high. This is not for prettiness sake, this is a survival bunker. So we want to make sure that everything is nice and safe. Oh, listen to that. Listen to that. Okay, so let's grab, grab a bit of stone. First, we're going to rip out the ceiling, and we're going to make this a little bigger. We're just starting here for now. I just don't want, I don't want anything to creep or fight upstairs. Okay, so we have a 9x9. Nine nine. Let's get... So we need it to be an odd number. Just to make it, you know, an even... <laughs> no pun intended, an odd number so it's an even room. Let's see, so that will be... Four, and then this is five. Like that. I think five by five looks big enough. We can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then have one in the center back here. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So then we'll, whoop, wrong button. What we'll do is we'll light the crap out of this. Yep, okay. Now, let's go ahead and get that ceiling fixed. Getting a lot of this red too, I like this red. Which is maybe an ulterior motive for um, stoning the interior of this. wall is, or the ceiling is officially safe. And let's go ahead and take these three down and really quick replace these three blocks with stone and put them back up. There they are. Okay. So let's get... 
Oh, the nice music is back. Um, a part of me wants to put in like a carpet or something in here, which may be another reason for a wool. Because I definitely want to use the stone to stone it all in. But, um, but I think like some color down here would be nice. <laughs> So we'll probably end up doing that um, once we find the sheep and bring the sheep back as well. We'll dye some wool and then uh, put it in the carpet here. Because I think that would be pretty. We'll be right in the middle of the room. Our, our carpet. There we go. Making good time on our little bunker down here. Every good survival house needs a little safety bunker. Just in case things go horribly wrong, you know that your stuff is protected. Oops. Wrong one. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I brought an extra. I did. That means, can you hear that zombie dying in the background? That means it's a daytime. So we're going to go ahead and finish this up. We'll head back upstairs. We'll grab the diamonds. We'll bring them back down here. And then, or well, I don't know. Maybe that'll be the next video. We're at least going to finish this, though. Or we're not. Or we're going to run back upstairs because we ran out of pickaxe. Oops. Oh, well. We can't fix that either. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, the bunker is mostly done. We'll go ahead and close that off. Nice, safe little bunker. It is daybreak, so we're going to go ahead and take care of this spider, because he's driving me crazy. Die, spider, die. We're going to check on our dirt. Oh, there's another one? Good gravy. Where? Oh, spider. Oh my gosh, creeper. Creeper. Let's check on the dirt. Oh, look, it is spreading. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy about this. Okay. So. Let's grab everything that is not currently helping the spread. And move it so it is. Oops. This makes me so happy. I want to keep coming down. Alright, let's hope for the best. Hopefully it, it spreads out over here. Alright, well thank you for joining me in Mesa Survival, where we are still trying to make this a, our little home away from home, our oasis out here. Uh, join us next time when we finish up our bunker. And, um, oh, we sent him all the way down off the hill. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> join us next time when we finish our bunker, get our diamonds moved somewhere safe, and, uh, you know, keep just living on. Thank you again for joining us, and until next time, YouTube, have, keep having fun.